Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to stream and record with OBS with a crappy CPU. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, let's open up OBS and tweak a bit the settings. So this is a brand new installation of OBS. So let's go right there and set up OBS for our CPU. So this is it. Let's add a display capture. Okay, and let's add a sound capture and a game capture. So let's make uh, one for games and I'm going to add a game capture. So. If you didn't watch the video for the fix for the recording black screen, I'll put the link in the description for that. So if you don't have any capture on display capture, I'm going to make sure I put the link down in the description. Okay, so let's add some desktop audio. Okay, so let's go to settings and tweak up the settings for the encoder and the quality so that we decrease the load on the CPU and if it's enough so we don't get stutters and low frame rates. Okay, so uh, right now a bit of info about my CPU. It's a dual core Ultrabook CPU. It's a fifth generation Intel Core i3, so it's a 5010U. Okay. So being just a dual core, it's okay in games, also because it's a laptop and it's weaker. But uh, if I want to also stream, the, just the two cores won't help me. So uh, go here to output, put to advanced. Okay, and now let's just go to, to audio and put it to 192. I just hover the mouse over and use my scroll wheel to change the settings. Put it to 192 so you get the good balance between quality and uh, okay now let's select the two tracks and put to mp4 now uh, use the stream encoder there so here we're going to put x264 as the encoder cbr and there we have the bit rate and put the cpu to ultra fast so you can put to ultra fast or super fast i'm going to put to ultra fast just to make sure that it's everything good and to not lose about the quality go to the bit rate and put something like 9000 10000 just play with the settings and test it out you could go to super fast if you got a, a better cpu but um this should do it for this dual core so it's the laptop dual core and it's quite weak if you want to also record so we're going to put tbr and 9000 now into audio, I'm going to put this to 48 kilohertz and go to stereo. So just a quick look into the control panel to make sure that it is on the right frequency compared to our uh, hardware for the sound. Because if our hardware is outputting to 44.8, there's no point in putting it to 48 in OBS. So just to make sure I'm going to put this to 48 kilohertz and apply the settings. Okay, so my desktop audio is already on 48 kilohertz, but um, the microphone wasn't. Okay, so we have here the audio devices. You can just tweak those up if you have multiple devices and microphones that you want to use. I'm gonna enable push to talk and let's go to the video tab. So right here, go to the resolution and put something like 720p so it's lower. So generally, this is going to be the screen resolution and then it uh, scales it up. Just put the same resolution so you don't upscale it. And I'm going to put something like 720p because it's HD. It's not really 1080p. My monitor is in 1080p. Uh, it's a laptop with a 1366 by 768 and 720p is just a good quality compromise for also not stuttering. Now put the frame rate something like 30 or 20. 9.97 with 60 you're going to really experience stutter even in the game not only the recording now here you can add whatever hotkeys you want to put the push to talk one now the thing is with that uh, frame rate I recommend something like 30 or 29.97 you could go as low as 24 so you can get a, a 
reasonable quality. So let's just apply these settings. Now on advanced, you can leave them default. Now uh, rescale is because we downscaled the canvas so that it fits. And these should be the settings in between OBS. Now, one other tip I have to you is open up the task manager and make sure that most of the CPU intensive applications, you just disable them because there's no purpose on holding them in. Okay. So you can see Camtasia actually takes a bit of my CPU. We're not going to make the demo recording just to, sh to show you how it's going to come out. I'm going to uh, stop Camtasia and show you just OBS recording. Okay, so I'm going to record just with OBS and show you the recording that I got out off OBS. Now let's just turn off all these applications that you know you don't even use like calculator. You, why would you use that in a game? So uh, let's just stop all these applications. Okay, so let's see, Microsoft Edge and email and the office click to run. Those you are not going to use in a game, so I do recommend you to, uh, to stop those. Now go to the details tab and order everything by CPU by clicking on the CPU tab right there. You can see Camtasia takes quite a lot. Now again, I'm going to stop that when I am recording. And you want to also just find out what takes CPU runtime and you don't use and just stop it. Things like even uh, the antivirus in a game, uh, you could just stop that because you're running on the game servers which are safe. So now the last thing you want to do is right click OBS and go to set priority and set it to something like above normal or high. So it has a higher priority on your CPU task list. Do not put it on real time, you'll cause system instability most likely. On high, if you have a weaker CPU, a really weak CPU, like a probably Pentium, I recommend you to go to high. But since I have this i3 right here, I'm just going to go to above normal and it should do the trick. So what you need to do is just set the priority to above normal or high. Don't worry about this error, the only system instability you will experience is mostly on real time. If you have system instability, just go lower. So I'm on above normal. If you have an even weaker CPU, go to high. So these are the settings. Now the last tip I have for you is disable these preview. So just put your right click and disable preview. So you can just put everything. So you, before you start recording, like uh, just put the camera, just every, arrange everything on the screen. And once you start recording, just disable the preview. That really saves up CPU. So just move things around, arrange it, and then uh, stop this preview because you are not going to look that, let's say, into a game or while you're recording. And it's just going to save you a lot of uh, CPU runtime. So um, I'm going to just stop recording with Camtasia, start recording with OBS, jump into CSGO, into a team deathmatch, and show you with these settings and with the tips I gave you how the recording will come out. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video if it worked for you. And see you next time on How Do IT. Yeah, I'm here. Hello.